Hello, I hope everyone's been having a good week. Today we're going to work on multiplying with 1 and 0 and find out what happens when we multiply a number by 0 or 1. Before you begin, stop and make sure that you have your materials, your notes, a pencil, and a highlighter. And if you need something, pause the video now. And remember to put a question mark next to anything in your notes if you don't understand it. Let's start by talking about our vocabulary. Our first term is the identity property of multiplication. And this tells us that the product of any number and one is that number. And our other property is the zero property of multiplication. And this says that the product of any number and zero is zero. Let's start by looking at the identity property of multiplication. Remember this says any number times one equals that number. And remember when we're writing a multiplication problem, we start with the number of groups multiplied by the number in each group to get our product or if we're making an array, the number of rows times the number in each row to get our product. So if we have one group of five soccer balls, that's one group of five, or one times five equals five. So my one factor is a one, my other factor is a five. And because I'm multiplying times one, my product is gonna be the other number, or five. This also works if we have five groups of one then I would have five times one, and I still have a product of five. So anytime you multiply by one, your product is going to be the other number. Now the zero property of multiplication says that any number times zero equals zero. And remember, we do our number of groups multiplied by the number in each group to get our product or the number of rows times the number in each row for our total. So if I have three groups with nothing in them, I have three groups of zero. And three times zero would equal zero. I don't actually have anything. And this works the same if I have zero times something, because that would mean I have zero groups. And if I don't have any groups, I don't actually have anything. So any number times zero equals zero. Let's practice finding the product. We're going to start on the left-hand side with 5 times 1. And if I think about this, any number times 1 equals that number. So 5 times 1 would equal 5. Next we have 3 times 0. And my 0 property of multiplication says any number times 0 equals 0. So 3 times 0 equals 0. Take a minute to try the rest on your own. If you still aren't finished, pause the video and then press play when you're ready to continue. Our next problem says 0 times 2. So if I have 0 groups of 2, my 0 property tells me that my product is 0. 1 times 7, I have 1 group of 7, so I have 7 things. On the right hand side, 4 times 0, if I have 4 groups of 0, I have zero, I don't have anything. Zero times zero, zero groups of zero 
equals zero. One times six, one group of six equals six. And eight times one, I have eight groups of one, which equals eight. Now you try. In your notes, answer each multiplication equation. Write the multiplication property that you used. 